So uh, we're walking towards the center of my town and this is the road I go to school every day. I have my friend Scott with me here. Hello. <laughs> so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Scott? Well, uh, I'm Scott. I'm from England. Uh -huh. I'm 21 years old. Uh -huh. And as part of my studies, I'm working as an English language assistant in a town called Tan, which Great. is not far from Gebile, which is a lot like Gebile. Awesome. Okay. And so how was uh, your experience this year? I had a very positive experience in my lycée and college. Oh, good, good, the way. kids have been really motivated, really interested in you, and the teachers have been very helpful to me. You know. Awesome. Uh, if you could say a couple things to, uh, to the new assistant, especially the ones who live in rural areas, mm -hmm. what would be like, some, some tips you can give them? One of the main tips I would give you is try and find a club somewhere okay. in, in the town that you're in. Yep. There are often, often things that you maybe don't do normally in your home country. Mm -hmm. Just try something new, yep. try it out, you'll meet, you'll have so many different connections with yep. different people. Yep. Ask the teachers as well if mm -hmm. they do any clubs. Yep. Not necessarily English teachers, all the teachers around the least. Mm -hmm. well. Okay. And something else I would say is maybe try if you don't enjoy living in um, living in the rural area. <laughs> yeah. Try and buy a reduction card. Oh yes. For the trains. That's right. For example, I bought a card for the region, <coughs> which wasn't very much, and it mm. got me fifty percent off all train all train travel in my region. Perfect. So it's very easy to go to Strasbourg. Yeah. Even to go to Switzerland is not very expensive. Yeah, awesome. And uh, I also heard that uh, <laughs> this is weird because I already know everything. But <laughs> so, so I also heard that um, you uh, uh, you went to uh, to Nice and you did some traveling this mm -hmm. year. How was that? How was that? It's very good. Um, it's definitely one of the best parts of this year abroad is the amount of free time you get. Yeah. Go traveling or to do what you want, quite simply. Amazing. And recently, I went to Nice. Mm -hmm. I used Covoiturage quite a lot. Yep. Or Let's using Blabla car. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very practical. And because you're just sharing a car with somebody, mm -hmm. you get to speak to them about their life. And mm -hmm. sometimes that leads to you meeting new people or them. Perfect. Leading to new opportunities. Okay. And just uh, one last question is that how was uh, your your resident situation? What did you how did you find where to live this year in Tan? For me, the person who's responsible of me, they quite often the school have links with mm -hmm. uh, apartments where the assistant stayed in yep. the previous years. Yep. And I in fact stayed with an old teacher from the school. Okay. And yeah, the main thing is, to, I would say, ask the teachers as best as you can, as best you can. Because mm -hmm. sometimes they have friends who have yep. a spare room or something like that that mm -hmm. they can easily rent out to you. Yep. Um, yeah. That's okay. It. And one last thing, what would you say uh, to the assistants coming in next year? Do you have something to say to them? Okay, at the start, it is quite difficult. To understand, it's, especially if you're in a rural area, it's quite difficult to meet new people yep and for example I had to sort things like internet out for the first month I didn't have internet yep. or anything like that or a French phone to contact mm -hmm. people yep but after the first month once you get into once you get to Christmas yep. you're in the full flow of things okay and after that you've absolutely all right it. thanks so much Scott <laughs>